Hey guys, how you doing today? And today I want to talk to you a little bit about budget gear. But before I do, let me get a couple of uh, housekeeping items out of the way. Number one, uh, folks ask me, why do you sell and get rid of stuff and change your mind so much? Well, it's my hobby. This is my journey. You're coming along with my journey. And sometimes if I get the opportunity to buy something that I haven't tried, I do that. Sometimes I sell things that I know I can get back later. Um, I set a budget for myself, and I don't go over that budget. So if I see something that's a great price, I'll move something out to try that. I'll buy something again. You know, it's my hobby. You're along for the journey. You buy what you like, I'll buy what I like. And that's just the way that goes. And number two, gear elitism. I'm not a fan of, of gear elitism. I saw a comment one day where someone said a particular razor wasn't meant for everybody. And that just rubbed me the wrong way. I'm going to be honest. Um, I really appreciate luxury items and high-end gear, but I'm not an elitist by any stretch of the imagination. I'll use budget items. And in fact, if a budget item performs as well as a luxury item, I prefer the budget item. I don't want to spend money. I don't have to spend. With that, let's go ahead and get to the budget selections for me. Now, first, let's talk about brushes. Now, Honestly, I don't have any uh, brushes that are great budget brushes, but if I did um, have to give a selection or two for bu budget brushes, I would choose Bore. Why? Because I think they work great and they can be found for a great price. The Samog 1305 and 830 would be my two choices for a great budget brush. Now, when you use Bore, keep in mind it's going to take you know, 15, 20, 30 shaves to break in, but once it does, your patience will be rewarded. I think the Smoke 1305 and 830 are great budget choices. Now, with regard to synthetic brushes, which I really like, you can buy a Plasson now, straight from Plasson, and shipped it's around $40. Still, that might be a little beyond some folks' comfort zone, but I think that's still a great uh, budget uh, selection. With respect to badgers in the budget area, it's tough. It's hard to get a really great badger for under a hundred bucks, to be honest. You can get some great ones for 75, 89, but you're not going to find a great badger brush for 20 bucks. It's just not going to happen. So for me, if you're really on a tight budget, go bore or go synthetic. All right, let's talk a little bit about soap. And my number one choice for budget soap is Razor Rock. Sometimes you can find these soaps for $5.99. Great, great buys. They're never more than $9.99. And they have excellent uh, scents. They perform uh, very, very well. And I think they're just a great choice for a person on a budget. Um, for me, they're one of my top choices for a budget soap. I use them all the time. I love them. The other choice that might not be obvious to people on budget soaps, Katie's Bubbles. Yes, I know. It's 20 bucks. But this is for eight ounces of soap. That's a lot of soap for eight ounces. And the price per ounce is really good. This is really not an expensive soap, if you think about it. I think it's a great budget item, although it is 20 bucks for a single soap. For the amount you get, great price, I think. Great quality soap as well. All right, let's talk a little bit about blades. Now, for me, there are really two, I think, really good budget um, options. The Persona, and I don't know whether these are labs or meds, or I don't get involved with all that. I just use what I like. This is the way these look. Um, right now, these linger around, you know, $11, $12 on Amazon, but I've seen them well under 10 bucks before, and I really like these blades, Persona. There's different flavors, by the way. This is the one I like. There's reds, blues, labs, all these other types. It's confusing. The other choice is Astra Green. These can be found on Amazon for 10 bucks, usually shipped to your door if you have Prime. Great price. I really like the blade. After shaves. Let's talk about that a little bit. Again, Razor Rock shines in the budget aftershave. Sometimes you'll see them as low as $6.99 for aftershave, and I think that's a great price. Now, I'm not saying this particular one I'm holding is, but you will find at times Razor Rock aftershaves for $6.99, $5.99, so... Usually they're no more than $9.99. Again, great, great budget um, selection, as far as I'm concerned. The other one that, again, that's not obvious, Phoenix aftershaves. Now, they're usually between $20 and $25, but what people don't understand about these, 
great ingredients and they are aftershave slash cologne. So you're getting double duty out of this. This will last all day long. And so for me, that makes it budget because I don't have to use a cologne. Slap this on, it's good for the entire day. And so for that reason, I think Phoenix aftershaves are a great budget option. Let's talk a little bit about uh, razors. And I'll talk about some that I don't actually own. Um, Matador razors from Razor Blade and more. Usually they're a little over 20 bucks. They have all sorts of selections and those razors are pretty darn good. Maggard razors has their line of Maggard razors. Usually a little over 20 bucks. Really, really nice razors for the price. Also Razor Rock has, um, this one is called the Slab and it comes with an Icon bamboo handle. This one is 40 bucks, but I got to tell you, this one performs like a high-end razor. Lots of feedback. I really like this razor. Now, every now and then, I'll have a Razor Rock razor that will actually be moved on to make room for a more expensive item, but it's not because this isn't good. Uh, if I have an expensive razor and a value razor and they both perform the same, obviously I'm going to hold on to the more expensive one simply because I paid more and I just want to hold on to it. So, if you see this go, or if you see any of my razors go, it's not because I don't not like it necessarily. It's because things come and go, and sometimes they get bumped out. But this is really a fine razor. Great handle for 40 bucks. I think it's a great bargain. So, Maggard, Razor Rock, and Razor Blade, and Razor Blades and more, you can find really some great budget razors. So, I, help, I hope, excuse me, does this help some of you sort of... Um, determine what some of these budget options are that maybe you weren't aware of. Uh, hit me below with comments, questions. I always try to answer them when time permits. Hope you guys have a great day and a great shave.